<laughs> what's going on everybody what's going on everybody i thought the screen was black what's going on everybody welcome back to some more my recycle sin uh center not simulator center um there has been i guess a little bit of an update since the last time i played it's called update 1.91 it's not a big update or anything it's it, it's, it's a little something but really it's kind of an excuse for me to get back into this game because yeah this game is one of those things where i can just kind of like sit and uh and uh organize a bit but anyways this is the commercial waste truck uh new trash items and upgrades there has been a little bit of like stuff added there will be commercial truck waste or waste trucks that will have like a bunch of stuff and uh with that i think there's like some sort of container potentially i'm not entirely sure but there's new items as well uh, added to the game. Uh, new wardrobe, bulk waste, uh, toys, strollers. Uh, I'm trying to look at the list here. There's like strollers, uh, drawers, end tables, bed frames, tricycles. There's some other stuff. Right. Anyways, uh, but I want to see the commercial truck waste. Now, I know we were supposed to play uh, Verbal Verdict today, and um, I was sitting there. And I was trying to do the resolution, but it would not let me go past 1080, 1920. Um, and what 1080, 1920 is, in case you don't know what that resolution is, that's looking at your phone. So whenever you scroll on TikTok or scroll on YouTube shorts, that's 1080 by 1920. It would not let me go up to 1920 by 1080, which is, you know, how you would typically uh, play on a computer, which was something weird. I don't know. I wasn't expecting that at all. I'll look into it and things like that and see whether or not... Um, you know, maybe I can fix it or maybe they'll do a hot fix or something rather and we can get back to verbal verdict as well because I was really enjoying that game too. So what we did instead is we pivoted to my recycle center and then later we'll, we'll do this for, you know, just like a couple hours and then uh, we'll do some more center station simulator this afternoon as well. So we got it. We got some streaming doing and um, <clears throat> that's um, that's what we have. So hello everyone and I hope you're all having a grrrr. What the hell is today? What's today? Thursday. Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. Today's trash day, so I gotta remember to take out the trash today. Goodness gracious. Welcome in. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, hello, Velvet Glove, Maggie Mae, Papa Bush, Cassie. How you doing? Hello, Kick Glass, Game Station. Welcome in. Welcome in. Miriam. Hello, Miriam. Hello, everybody on YouTube and on uh, Twitter. Or Twitter. Twitch. <laughs> Welcome in. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Piggy Chop. Hello. Did I say hello to Swift Swiftly? That might be two. One. I don't know. I forgot. Hello to you, regardless. Welcome in. Hello, Chelsea. Hello, Spork. Hello, Maggie Mae. Um, Posh Tash. Hello, Posh Tash. How are you? How are you doing? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, yeah, we had to do a little bit of a pivot. Yeah, we had to. Dark Dragon. Hello, Dark Dragon. Yes, hello. Hello, Natasha. Welcome in. Hello, Nayeli. Hello, Shante. Hello, Dublin. Hello, Michelle. Welcome in. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Yes. Hello, Amanda. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Hello, Unicorn. How are you? Masumi. Hello, Masumi. Hello, hello. Maya J. How you doing, Maya J? Hello, LJ. How you doing? I know. I was looking forward to Verbal Verdict as well, too. Me, too. Uh, hello, Chris Dunn. Good to see you. Welcome in, Metallica fan. How are you doing? Good to see you. Welcome in. Happy Thursday. Thursday evening or Thursday uh, afternoon or even... Friday morning to some of you. Tremaine, hello, Tremaine. How are you? Hello, Cass. How you doing, Cass? Hello, Rico. Welcome in. Hello, Dustin. Hello, hello. And everybody lurking, working, and possibly working on this Thursday. Welcome to you, and welcome back to some more My Recycle Center. Yeah, so, we'll have to, whoa. We'll have to see um, what kind of, like, we're looking for big truck, all right? So, if, in case you didn't see screenshots or you have no idea what we're looking for, we're looking for a big truck. It's not the big truck, but we're looking for a big truck fast admitted uh, ad admittance oh you get a rating for that have you always gotten a rating for that anyways uh real quick though let me just turn down the game because to me i feel like it might be a little too loud um anyways but we're looking for a um massive whatchamajigger and i know a lot of people make a lot of money with a massive whatchamajigger but what i'm trying to say is it's going to be a giant box truck and inside the box truck is going to be just treasures and troves of just garbage it's gonna be great anyways hello how can i help you now it's been a hot minute since i've actually played this game so please uh forgive me on my uh on my lack to do's here because i might have lack to do's as far as like i remembering where things are apparently this guy 
thought this was a goodwill so he's driving off all his clothes here which you know I'll, I'll i'll let it pass that's fine or that he murdered somebody i don't know and that's all right we'll just throw this all in there and that will be that hello jonathan how are you good to see you welcome in jonathan hello hello yes 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 there we are and yes trap me perfect all right cool all right you're 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 good to go now as far as um as far as like what things we can add to this i think there's there is some things that we can add actually there's some upgrades i think we could do too we can put signs and stuff like we still have things to do with that we could even replace every machine to make it kind of like that machine like the bulk trash machine uh, especially like these electronic devices and scrap metal uh, we can get rid of like these and maybe turn them into those and maybe that's what i'll do can I close the shop real quick? No? Let me see here. So if I wanted to do a steel one, what would you tell me to do a steel one? What would be a steel one? Would it be this one? Bulk waste? No, 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 no. Bulk waste, timber, and used paper. You're telling me I put used paper in that? Maybe I can, maybe I can't. A company sign at the entrance. A metal sign at the entrance. Main recycle center. Yeah, hello, Arturo. Hello, Jacqueline. How are you? Did I see your suggestion? I wrote in some garbage simulator by writing it down. Did you see my suggestion? I wrote in some garbage simulator by writing it down. Um, are you talking about here? Or are you talking about in the discord? <laughs> um, garbage simulator. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that oh there we go there's a state okay so the state license for commercial waste is 200 likes uh reverb that back to me um because i don't think i quite understand uh gadgets gizmos and who's and what's it what, the, the, the thing of the dingle hoppers thingamabobs thing which of no not which of jiggers uh this is what we need to get 200 likes for that 200 likes for that and then um yeah i, I thought one of these wait drum compactor bulk trash timber i guess i can use this right i can use this for or anything I think right yeah I'm pretty sure so if I were to purchase this let's test this out if I were to purchase this and I were to um, get rid of electronic devices remove that and then put in the compactor I can put electronic devices in this I can I did have household appliances okay Ooh, electronic devices are put in right high power high power hydro hydraulic pump i don't know i think that's new i don't know what that does i'm kind of interested though we won't use it on this maybe we'll use it on something else so we have electronic devices okay sounds good and then we can replace this one too i think so let's sell that container there we go and let's go with um ba, 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 ba. let's go here buy that place that there and this is going to be scrap metal we're going to do scrap metal here i wrote in one of your episodes of recycle center um youtube it's saying to write down the different skips and what goes in them so you always know oh is that what okay yeah i mean i yeah i could definitely write down all the different things but <laughs> look it's, let's be honest it's me right now, this takes scrap metal. There we go. Okay. I will use the hydraulic pump on something else. I won't use it on these two. I'll use it on, like, bulk items. Was it bulk? Yeah, bulk trash. Can I buy that? And I'll test it on that. Because I want to see what that does. There we go. We've done it. Nice. Now, what about the other thing? Can I sell the other thing? This thing. I'm going to sell this. I don't need this. It can go away. Get out of here. There we go. Okay. All right. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Yeah, trash bag. Yeah, sure. There we go. All right, now we have a little bit of upgrades. Now, I, I would like to color code them, and I probably will. I'll probably make the electronics like some sort of green. Maybe that. No, that's green. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to do something with it. Maybe make it a, a bright yellow. You know what? I can make this whole yard rainbow. Look at me. Just a rainbow full of containers. Now, that's not a bad idea now, is it? Okay, you're on your way. And by the way, you owe me a fee. Yeah, that's right. You owe me a fee. On you go. All right. Um, bulk item. I will test that out. And we'll see what this hydraulic pump is all about. Yeah. Hello, Crypt Crawler. How are you? 
is this an early stream well actually i'm kind of late to this stream <laughs> i'm actually 15 minutes late so but yeah <laughs> welcome in <laughs> I'm actually 15 minutes late to my usual stream. I do two streams a day, if you didn't know, but yeah. Typically, I do two two streams a day. Uh, garbage bag. Not all the time, but typically. Most of the time. There you are. There we are. Be it up. There you go. There you go. Have a good one. Take care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Minja. How are you, Minja? Hello, Shay. How are you, Shay? Hello, T. How are you, T? Hello, Summer Sunshine. Summer sunshine. Lindsay. Hello, Lindsay. How are you? Yeah, the, the signs. All the signs. You don't think I'm live on YouTube? Um, I'm talking to people on YouTube, so I think I'm, I might be live on YouTube. <laughs> hello, Amanda. How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> I think you saw it said the stream would start at 11 p.m. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this stream, yeah, in case... Uh, so what happened was there was a game... I was supposed to play before this one and um there was a little bit of a mess up so i had to push this one a little bit earlier yeah so we had to make a little bit of adjustment with this stream uh in particular if you're asking about this game precisely i had to push this one up because there was issues with the game i was going to do uh earlier yeah so that probably makes more sense yeah there we go bulk uh wait this is steel scrap metal yeah all right mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, cardboard box. We can put that in the cardboard thing thing. Wait. Yeah. Put that in there. Cool. There we are. Uh, scrap metal. There you go. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it live. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So we were supposed to play verbal verdict uh, now, but some things went wrong. So we had to pivot a little bit. Uh, this is electronics. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And this is also electronics. There we go. The fact that I can actually put these in a in a in a proper bin instead of like that flat feels a lot better. Especially like the scrap metal and the electronics. What? So I think this is a new item. Uh, and this is a bowl. A metal bowl? Sure, dude. Yeah, I think that's one of the new I items though. The last goes into purple. And uh, this is waste. Oh, yeah. I forgot we have food. Is this the food? Yeah, this is the organic waste. There you go. I'm getting better at it. And then, uh, yeah, purple. Whoa, don't break it. There you go. I wonder if there was... I didn't read all the patch notes. There was some bug fixes to this game. But I didn't read whether or not... Um, do I charge you? Look, I deserve that. I'm sorry, what? You had a shirt? Oh, God, I forgot to hit the hatch, didn't I? I did. I'm a fool. Um, what was I going to say? There was uh, there, there was some bug fixes, and I don't know if I actually mentioned anything about, like, glass bottles or anything. For some reason, I feel like the glass bottles are really, like, really touchy, but maybe that's just me. Who knows? All right, let's clean this up. On our, our goal right now is to get 200, uh, 200 satisfaction points so that we can get this state commercial waste. It's not done yet. Clean up all this. God, this would be so awful in real life. It would be. Like, if people work in waste management, I'm not saying that's awful. I'm saying, like, having... If you had to wash or clean a container, that would be awful. Gosh, that would be just... Maybe, I don't know. Maybe some people find it satisfying. Okay, is there anything else I need to clean before I get at this? Um, yeah, all right. Tires. There you go. On you go. Nice. <laughs> Do the tires first, and I think tires are a fee. I think... I can't remember if... There's, like, three fees. There's the tires that are fees. There's the garbage that are fees. And there's something else that is a fee. I think there's three items, but I forgot what the third item is. This is a bulk thing, no? Kitchen cabinet, bulk? I need scrap metal. Whatever. Does it really matter? It's all going to the same place, I think. Uh, there we go. Okay. You will get feed up, my good man. Oh, we sold something. I forgot you could sell things in this game. Holy crap, we have a shop. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh, paint. Paint is a fee. Hazard. Is it hazard? Hazard stuff is a fee. 
That's right, huh? You're right about that. I totally forgot you can sell items in this game, so I gotta, like, keep my eye out for that. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we need to get household items, <clears throat> right? Or ho household appliances. I guess we can kind of buy a container for household appliances. Hello, how are you? I don't, like, I guess... Yeah, hello, Anna Maria. Hello, Luis. Hello, Armo. Hello, welcome in. Um, what is this? Yeah, this is a scrap metal, please. I want to test out this booster thing, too. Mounted animal? Kind of slam that hard, didn't I? Documented? I don't think these are... I don't think those are a fee, but I did learn that with this update, you can also... Hang on a sec. You can go. Uh, miss the fee on... Okay. Scrappy. I, I guess confidential data is also... So there's four, right? Missed out on the fee for that. You can... there With the new update, you can actually put in an auto thingamabobber. An auto... Uh, that thing. Automatic photo sensor. That's new. So we're going to get that. There we go. Automatic... Automatic photo sensor. Hello, Johnny. How are you? Welcome in. Empty glass bottles. Are you kidding me? Really? You came here? I I think it might be illegal to travel. Well, I don't know. What's the law on it? And traveling with an open container? <laughs> uh, <laughs> are you allowed to travel with an empty container? I'm now like questioning all of my laws right now. You drive with an empty container in the car? Like, that is... An empty container is... Is warrant... Like, that... Like, you can get your car searched for having an empty container. You can be suspicion under the influence for an empty container. Right? Am I losing my mind over here? I think I might be losing my mind. Hello, Alex. How are you? I have no idea. I guess, what if you're going to recycle something? You're not allowed to have any beer bottles with you. I guess if you have the odor of alcohol in an empty container in your vehicle. Listen, I was the kid back in the day that would get pissed at my parents because they thought it was okay to get in the car, crack open a Pepsi, and drive and drink. I said, you are drinking and driving. That is not good don't do that uh i obviously years later learned what that actually meant but you know i used to yell at my parents for this such thing this is electronic there you go even if it was a capri sun they'd be drinking it'd be like you know drinking and driving what is this vase bulk trash i'll be honest with you i don't know where that one went was that a i don't know where that one went what is this sweater there we go. I can turn that off, by the way. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, well, on your way. I missed out on that. Residential waste. Okay. Residential waste. So that was a, that was just this here. Okay. I wasn't really putting a vase as in residential, but alright. I should have, I guess, right? Yeah. Hello, Starkey. How you doing? In Michigan, we have bottle return. You take back empty to store 10 cents each. It's all on carbonated drinks only. Okay, that makes sense. Carbonated drinks. That's a cute story. Well, I'm just saying. It'd be like, you know, on, the, on our way to school. Dad has a Pepsi. Stepdad has a Pepsi. He opened it up. We're driving to school. You're drinking and driving. How dare you? I thought that's what it meant. I didn't know, like, the other things with it. What are you doing, sir? I'm sorry. Are you stuck? I think this person might be stuck. Nope. They just don't come in when I'm cleaning. All right. Well, respect, baby. Respect. Respect. All right. On we go. There we go. I still haven't used this, like, hydraulic pump thing. I think this is new, too, this bed frame, this metal bed frame. I think that's new. Well, I'll use it here in a sec, though. Uh, this is... What the hell is this? This is organic waste. 
I don't think organic waste causes a fee. Yeah, I don't think it does. Hello, Shorty. How are you, Shorty? Welcome in. Dane, hello, Dane. How are you doing? Um, perfect. You're losing your mind right now? School supplies for kindergarten is $100? Okay, first of all, what is $100? What are you buying? Are you buying all the glue sticks? Are you the person that buys all the glue sticks? Fee. There you go. Take care. That person was patiently impatient. I don't think I've ever heard that of that before. <laughs> what is this? Uh, does this have a recycle thing on it? Uh, California. Oh, sorry. Uh, not California. Um, Maine, New York, five cents or otherwise it's 10 cents. CTRV, CACRV. No idea what that means. By the way, thank you for following Mona Lura. Hello, Mona Lura. Welcome in. It's true. I need to, I need to remember to check things for sale. At least pick things that are worthwhile. This, not worthwhile. Uh, this, not worthwhile. Uh, on you go. And on you go. Take care. We're almost at 200, uh, 200, uh, thumbs up satisfaction points. All cans, bottles, glass, pop, beer, energy drink. You can pay $1.20 extra on a 12 pack. When it's empty, you return them and get your money back. Wait, what? You can, you pay $1.20 extra on a 12 pack. When it's empty, you return them and you get your money back. Oh, that's very cool. See, these are little things that I don't know about. This is a, the thing about recycling is I don't think it's talked enough. It's almost like in school, right? School, they don't teach you for life. They teach you about a bunch of nonsense. How many of you would have rather learned about how to do your taxes? Would have rather learned about how to pay your bills? Would have learned about how to uh, write out a check, right? Certain things like this learn about what the stock market is right learn about this and that how many of you would have rather have done that instead of like learn about you know what happened to some guy in a wig back in you know a time that was very disappointing for all of us look i know america has a very ugly past so does australia but i'm just saying you know is this considered wood no fabric but I'm just saying, you know, like, it's good to know that we, you know, our generations before us were kind of dicks, but like, I need to pay my bills. You know what I mean? Uh, scrap metal or bulk. This is bulk, I think. It was scrap metal. Okay, this is the first time using this thing. The booster. Oh, look how fast it goes with the booster. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. That is so, so good. Hello, Aaron and Pink. How are you? Hello, Zach. Hello, Anna Maria. Did I say hello? hello to Anna Maria? You learned about fi filing, filing for taxes? Well, that's very generous of the establishment that you've learned education from. Like, we didn't even have... In high school, we didn't even have... What's it called? Um, we didn't have... Uh, home... Home... Is it home... What do they, what do they, what do you call it? Home, uh, is this, this? Really? That's not residential? You can suck it. Um, what's it called? Uh, like the, the place, like cooking? Home, home ec? Home ec? We didn't even have home ec in, in high school. They didn't have any of that stuff. I see it all the time in movies and things like that, but we never had that. You know? When you were in fifth grade, you, you got taught how to balance a checkbook? Okay, tell me your age without telling me your age. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, but no, seriously, like that stuff like that. See, never had, uh, never had, uh, <laughs> never, never had any of that stuff. You know? Home economics. There you go. That was the word. Home economics. That's the word I was looking for. I, I want to add uh, hydraulics to all these things now. What is this? Garbage. Okay, don't forget to actually 
uh, uses. There's nothing really I wanted to, to grab. I don't think I, there's no point in selling the computer, especially, I'm not gonna check it and then it'd be like $20 profit or anything anyways. So I'm just gonna like throw away the computer and all that, but nothing stands out right now for reselling. However, these fees are standing out tremendously. Bum, 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 ba -da -da -dum. There we go. There we are. Okay, you're done. Oh wait, pizza boxes. Pizza boxes. Bum, 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 bum. More pizza box. My goodness gracious, sir. Whoa. Okay, fee it up. Almost $100 of fees. That's incredible. 200 uh, satisfaction points. Okay, let's go get the license. All right. Commercial waste is now a part of us. Let's also look into compactor, hydraulic. Perfect. Uh, let's just put hydraulics on everything. Right? Yeah, hydraulic on everything. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, that's done, that's done, that's done. There's a loud truck outside, I think. I think we got him. Yeah, I think they're here. I think I got exactly what I wished for. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You're like... Really? That's it? <laughs> ah. I thought I was going to get a big load. I said I didn't get a big load. Sperm count must have been off. Hello, Lady Fluffy Dragon. How are you? Welcome in. Is this all recyclable bags? Hello, Tiffany. How are you, Tiffany? Welcome in. Hello, Terry. How you doing, Terry? Hello, Corlin. 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 I had shop class, loved it. It also had the sugar baby class that turned into the trunk it over doll in the next year. They told me I didn't have to have a doll. The sugar, the sugar baby class. What in the world is the sugar baby class? Is that like the, the realistic doll baby kind of thing? Yeah. So is that what that was? Kind of, kind of, kind of dealio. <laughs> sugar baby class. I thought sugar baby was a candy. Look, if I use the cart for this, it would be. I put that in the glass. If I use the cart for this, it would be kind of ridiculous. Only because, like, we're right here. <laughs> There's kind of no point to, like, putting this go from one container into another container to then put it over there. Might as well just put it in the container. Right. Hello, Darren. How are you, Darren? Good to see you. Welcome in. Work in AG class. You did the realist baby lesson in a different class in high school, and then you got really lucky. You're a pro lurker. You've been following a bit. Well, shout out to you. How are you? I know. Should have backed up to the container. I mean, I'm sure like in real life, they wouldn't mind. That's what I'm saying. Hello, Bez. That went in. Okay. We're going to have to like unload that thing. We're going to have to like clean that out in a sec. It's almost filled up. We wanted to take criminal classes, but too many people wanted to do the same thing. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> that's really disappointing. So what? They they, they denied you for, because there was too many people that wanted to learn the subject? That sounds like, you know, that sounds like the job market as soon as you like graduate from university. Ah, oh, everybody wanted to learn this and then, ah, oh, shit, a $100,000 student loan and now the market... It's so saturated that I can't get a job. Ain't this something? That sounds exactly like the same thing. There we go. <laughs> I know the skip customer <laughs> buttons making you nervous. It's luckily it's the delete key. It's far away from my fingers. Far, far away. Bum, 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 ba -dum. You have five kids. That's why you didn't have to give the think it over, baby. I was already a mother in high school. The teacher said it was pointless to me. Well, I guess that's, yeah, I would have to say if you're already like, you know, 
rocking the maternal like uh you know the instincts like why do i well that would have actually been maybe an easy class for you to pass then but here you go you get out of here that would have might that might have been an easy class for you to pass though now thinking about it hello alexis how are you hello tabby good to see you <clears throat> i'll stream that since i could have taught the criminal class was class when i was in high school probably should have because unlike the other fools i was never caught that deserved that 100 that was awesome i love it <laughs> okay uh sorry are we open yes okay another commercial truck coming through you did pass it. you had to bring your baby in every day for the class it was very unwanted attention oh that would have been very unwanted not thinking about it yeah the fact that you had to you had to do that man or like th the school didn't force you to do that did they hopefully they didn't that would have been kind of upsetting this is a lot of stuff we're gonna be here for ages but i'm for it suitcase this is definitely a bulk trash item i win this bag is a residential i lose this is plastic all right there we go thank you i'll be here all week <laughs> trash can okay i almost thought that it was a residential waste but i guess not uh this is also bulk it was kind of a special needs school that gave students jobs to do and yes you i was told i couldn't do the class because lots of people were trying to sign up so I decided to do culinary class instead. Now I do have to ask, did you at least like culinary class? Sometimes I wish I, I don't even think they had culinary class for my high school either. I kind of wish there was like special classes like that to do. Instead, what I did for like electives and things like that was I did like early childhood stuff, uh, two years of like early childhood uh, development education or I forgot what it's called early childhood education and I did a lot of um, computer computer science stuff those were like the two kind of like electives I did oh and art I did art believe it or not I did I did art I still have some of the art that I used to have back in the day maybe I'll have to like try to see I gave them to my grandmother a long time ago maybe I'll have to see if I can like maybe take some of those from her temporarily and see maybe show them on stream one day because they're so bad because <laughs> i can't draw but i did two years of art and i still can't draw <laughs> oh man oh i wish i would have took a foreign language though i i i, I wish i would have done that though i wish i would have took it that serious i wish i would have took spanish my friend took french and it drives me nuts because of the reason why he did it i've told this story before many times and a friend who took french because he wanted to get with a girl because at the end of the year they were going to paris it sounds like a movie i'm not even joking at the end of this year at the end of the semester at the end of everything at the end of the trip she had no interest in him after all year trying to sway her in the french And that was the day that I wish he got stabbed at a taco truck. Anyways, besides that. <laughs> I guess most of the stuff can also be put into a cart. But at the same time, I feel like this is like still the. Um, it's still like, I don't know. I, th I feel like it's still efficient doing it this way. I mean, I don't know. The cart just seems like pointless. It feels pointless. Yeah. You can draw. You can draw. You just can't draw well. That's exactly it. <laughs> I can draw, but good luck on trying to figure out what it is. Plastic barrel. It's still bulk trash. There we go. You took Spanish every year since fifth grade. You learned nothing. What the heck? Every year since fifth grade, you learned nothing. Were you paying attention? 
There we go. It's almost I mean, you can kind of like see in life sometimes. Um, you kind of you can kind of see in life uh, how you interact with people. It's kind of an interesting thing. It's an interesting psychological thing, I think for sure. Um, I think if you if you like watch people and study people, I like to watch people. I, li I like to study people, right? I like to know what people's intentions are, and I like to like figure out people, right? And it's very common. I, to me at least I don't know if anybody else relates to this but to me I find it very uh, very easy to point out and figure out people who are like single child if that makes sense if they are like only child you know the term of like only child syndrome based off of like the things they do and the way they act right you can definitely kind of like be like oh yeah you probably don't have any brothers and sisters right you know it's a certain thing it's very interesting though very very interesting i think i'm gonna keep that no not that actually how much is this yeah no value i didn't think so i had a i had a friend i have a friend who is like only child like i have a, I have a good friend that's only child and i have a, another friend who is not only child and just like just the differences of like interactions between all of us and just like you know just seeing like the decisions they make it's, it's very quite interesting indeed This is like the same stuff over and over it feels like though Like I feel like there's like seven items here and then everything's like duplicated Now this is the new thing right this is the commercial waste that we've been introduced But it looks like the like seven items all copy and pasted Yeah Only child syndrome self snitching <laughs> I didn't want you to self snitch now, did I? Yeah. You have a few friends that have that only in child syndrome. They all can be selfish. It, it's it, it like it's one of those things, right? It's one of those things. Like growing up, and you like grow up with like a bunch of kids. And you grow up with a bunch of siblings and things like that. You oh shit. Where did I put that? You learn to have to share with everything and you learn to have to be patient and you learn to have to like um, kind of look out for one another, but also look out for like another human kind of be right. It's, it's one of those things, but I always do think about like if I never had siblings or anything like that, like I do wonder how like how different of a life that would have been kind of thing, you know, I do think about that sometimes quite interesting there we go this game has turned out to be much better than i thought first thought i know it's very satisfying i agree he was dyslexic so english was very hard for me a while a while then putting me in spanish didn't make sense to me i tried my butt off to understand it just never stuck with me look i've never been like diagnosed with like any dyslexia but youtube in the comment section and even the people that are that i talk to quite often here on youtube they've pointed out that sir you have dyslexia <laughs> so i've been youtube diagnosed if anything and i do i have very i have a very very hard time reading it's gotten better over the years i will say because like every day i'm sitting here reading stuff out aloud to, you know for hours on hours sometimes well actually i'm reading stuff quite often i'm reading stuff constantly now that i think about it not am i not that i'm reading stuff like in the game but i'm reading everyone's chat all the time so i think naturally i'm just getting kind of better at it but it's taken forever it's taken a long time but i if you watch my older videos watch my older streams and things like that you can see me struggle so hard this might be something you can see me struggle so hard on reading and understanding i have a very i have a very hard i'm not very good at reading comprehension is what it is I'm not good at reading comprehension i'm not a i'm not a uh i don't know how to how to say it i'm like a visual learner you know yeah i'm a visual learner there we go 
push it in it sucks that it could be a superpower and a nightmare at the same time okay i know it as a nightmare but i am interested to know how it is as a superpower you need to enlighten me please enlighten me a little bit there we go this person literally went to like a person's house and copy and pasted it seven times <laughs> actually how much is the dartboard uh, not worth it uh, let's actually run this too there we go you aced asl but could just barely pass french and it's interesting because english is like one of the hardest languages to learn too you know not sure if YouTube diagnosis can allow a person to be eligible for certain prescription medications would be interesting. I don't know. According to YouTube, their diagnosis is spot on. They have the perfect diagnosis. <laughs> they know exactly what they're talking about. The mind is a strange thing. It really, really is, isn't it? I'll sell that. By the way, thank you, Valen valentin valentine dk hello welcome thank you for following on twitch Metal, yeah dude when i played project hospital when i played project hospital oh dude you want to see me f medical terms up just go watch my playlist on project hospital great game by the way could not say half of the words in the game but it was wonderful I think I was calling uh, diagnosis asparagus at one point. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Don't put that in there. Bum, bum, bum. The college interest says you got an 89 on reading comprehension and a 34 in math. See, that was the thing. In, in school, I was obviously good with like computers and stuff, but I was good with math. I excelled in math, even though nowadays it's kind of like i'm out of practice for like over a decade but i haven't been i haven't been in school in over a decade but um I was, when i was i was good at math and i was not good at reading uh, i was not good at science believe it or not i did not like biology i hated biology terrible terror like earth science whatever i'll do some earth science let's get on that but biology look you can f right off with biology <laughs> unless we're talking about the human anatomy in particular the female anatomy then i'm all ears but if that is it then you know biology i'll well, i'm bad at you were good at lunch I could see that. I was good at lunch, too. A particular fungal infection, I would pronounce it as asparagus. That's right. That's what it was. Because I didn't know how to say the word, so I went to the closest word that came in mind. Asparagus. Last one. Holy crap, dude. I don't even know how much money we made. I think I can get this one, too. Let's do it. Wait. Those are $100? I think that thing said $50, didn't it? Did that thing say $50? Can someone correct me? What the hell? Ah, get in there! Damn it. Oh. Well, that worked out. Okay. Wash it. Hello, cowgirl. How are you? The asparagus is great. It is great. It's absolutely great. You were passing at the other classes, but I was in advanced art and guitar classes, so I was more creative minded. I'm trying to think of like all the different kind of weird stuff or things that I got like history. I was I was fine. I was good at history. Whatever. I was good at history. I was good at math. Um, F biology. Um, I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything else. <laughs> like anybody had to like deal with, uh, you know what? Let's do this. 
anybody had to deal with the um you know like i don't know this was like maybe small like later not later but like early school stages where you had to go home and read an hour and then your hour you had to then give to your parents and like have them sign off on your reading that you did for an hour and you had to do that every single day on top of like the two to three hour homework you had to do already anybody had to do that we had to do that like oh okay time for you to go you got to make sure you had like a log right you had a, like a, a reading log this is incredible dude there's three items copy and paste it in here so you had to go and you had to like write the book that you're reading and then you had to read for an hour then you had to document how long you read then you had to like give like some sort of easy summarization of what you what you read and then your parents had to sign off on that now i know some of you have done that and i know some of you have also forged your parents signatures as well i'm right there with you brother that's probably why my reading comprehension went out the window. Maybe because I was cheating the system. It's not my fault. What? I mean, look. I was like, what? 11 years old? 12 years old? You're telling me a 42-year-old woman couldn't figure out a 12-year-old forged the parent's signature? Look, that's on her. Maybe she didn't care. But then at the same time, what is she going to do? Question your parents' ability to, to, to sign? I guess the one thing that she could have done is she could have been like, hey, maybe parent-teacher conference, I'm going to call the parents and be like, hey, uh, did you have you been signing your child's reading log? And the, the quick answer to that is, no, I have not. And then, bam, you're busted. You know? Easy. Right? But none of that happened. You didn't have to read if you didn't want to? What? Dude, you you got docked grades if you didn't do that. Like that was a have to. We have we had to do that. If you didn't, you got docked, man. I think we possibly did that in middle school as well. So long ago. So in, in case you love reading, right? If you love reading, that's easy sauce best time ever right but for children who are like you know maybe have a hard time sitting still for five minutes and who possibly is like can't wait to prestige in call of duty you know what i mean that kind of thing um yeah it's kind of hard to then be like sit down and be like okay let me take this hour to read a book on mark twain <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it's if if anything if any if it's anything right I think we can kind of relate a little bit and it's kind of crazy to relate that that we can go through many generations of each other and relate to the same thing that we did in school but yet nothing has changed for education as itself all of us have uh, evolutionized but education has not right we can all sit there and, and agree and be like, oh, yeah, we're from different generations and we did the same exact thing. Generation after generation after generation. Interesting to think about, yeah? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hello, Sierra. How are you? Hello, Lindsay. How are you? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. <clears throat> And the thing we read was never, was never, never had tests, right? <clears throat> you read it and you never had a test. Now, now the one thing I will say is like, even in high school, in high school, look, when you get to high school, at least when I went to high school, there was like the, the, the harsh reality of there are teachers that really take their job seriously. And there are teachers that are on like some sort of pension that don't take their job seriously like 
teachers that don't give a crap like hey you guys want to take a test this week okay open book tests now i know open book tests is very common in like college and all that but when you have like an entire book that has an entire answer key and you're taking a very important test like a state test maybe you're boosting your numbers potentially as a teacher it's kind of like that one movie i can't remember that one movie oh bad teacher with cameron diaz it's like that dude that's like reality except minus the sexy cam cameron diaz part but everything else true go This is bulls. I don't know. I think this is bulk trash. Bulk trash? We can separate everything. Bulk trash. Yeah. I think it's bulk trash. I don't think it's steel. You know what? Test it. Damn it! Okay, it's it's scrap. Metal. It's metal, not steel. Metal. Metal. There we go. You were the embarrassing kid that would throw up to get picked up do you make yourself throw up so you can like leave school you're that kid oh i know that kid that's you that's you hey long time no see how are you good to see you <laughs> nice <laughs> good to see you again Okay, I, I do like mythology. I do like mythology. Anybody ever play the game Age of Mythology? One of my favorite and first PC games I ever played was Age of Mythology. Wonderful game, fantastic game. One of my favorite games of all time, Age of Mythology. Now this year, they're going to be doing a remaster of Age of Mythology. And I am very kind of excited for that game. I am. There we are. I think that game alone got me really interested in mythology. Okay. We good? Almost. We good? We got all the bowls? Possibly. Fuck it. All right. Let's go. <clears throat> you had a you was bad at lying and was a goody two shoe. So make sure so so much if you told a teacher that I had a detention, they would think it's a joke. I wasn't the most popular. <laughs> Listen, I wasn't the most popular. It might come off as I was popular in school. And I was actually the complete opposite of popular. It was very awkward. I was very shy. Very introvert, which that still is how I am today. I'm very shy in real life. I'm very shy and introvert. I'm different on YouTube because I think most of, most of the time I feel the most comfortable here. But um, that's how it was. Um, not popular, not at all. I never got in trouble, really. I mean, there was one time I got like expelled from school. <laughs> Look, expelled from school. Is that the right word? Suspended? No, suspended, not expelled. Sorry. I got... Uh, suspended for half a day for half a day listen i got suspended for half a day why because i it was one of those like phases as kids you know the phase where like people draw on your arms or write messages on your arms and stuff like that come on i can't be the only one well teachers found out that people were writing like messages on my arms and they're like you're suspended and i'm like well that's kind of rude but they didn't care that was like the worst thing i ever did was let people draw on my arm <laughs> no <laughs> you got expelled for being late okay more context you say i got expelled for being late let's be honest sweetheart come on now you didn't get expelled for being late. You got expelled for being late multiple times. It wasn't one time, was it? And if it was, come on. You were like 
late 27 times. No? <laughs> You guys suspended because other people wrote on your arm? Yeah, that's very true. I have a, I have a picture of me actually on that day. God, I think I have it in my closet. I got suspended from school. I had long hair. Not as long as I have now, but I had long, like, I had like the long kind of, I don't want to say, I don't want to like, like, you know how you say emo? I don't like saying that word, but you know, like the... I guess Justin Bieber haircut, you could say that. Long Justin Bieber haircut, right? And I had writings all over my arm. My dad was pissed. He picked me up from school. He took me to work. And while I was sitting at his work, he took a picture of me. And I have that picture still to this day. And you can see on my arm, all the writings I have on my arm. I'll have to get that picture one day and show you. That was the day I got suspended from school. That was the first and only day I got suspended from school. After that, anybody that came at me with a pen, I screamed. Somebody approached me with a with a blue pen. Ah! Right in the middle of math class. I don't care. I'm not doing that again. Is that all the buckets? I guess we can take everything. Well, no, 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 no. There we go. You can't see cans with a Bieber style haircut? Okay, trust me, that happened. Absolutely happened. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna front about that. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be straight up with you. I'm gonna be a 100 with you. That happened. Look, some of, you know, in the things, uh, the things that people wrote on my arm, they were nice messages. Look, I know some of the girls may have had a crush on me and they were like drawing hearts and saying this and that and whatnot, but they were nice. There wasn't like mean stuff on me. I don't think there was. I don't remember there being was. I'm just saying like positive messages on my skin was, I guess, a potential for self-harm look i know it's not oh it's, it's not good for your skin to like to like you know have ink put ink on you i understand that but this was like one time you know let a kid be a kid you know chuck e cheese where a kid can be a kid i'm just saying Not like I was not like anybody was hurting me not like anybody it wasn't like I was hurting myself you know anyways questionable stuff questionable stuff I ever have I ever been accused of doing something and this is school related you could probably even put it to like reality real life it doesn't need to be school but I've been accused of doing something that I never did before at school yeah um, in real life, no, but in, I'm guilty as charged for everything that I've been caught doing, but, <laughs> but, um, but, uh, in school, yes, I have been, I have been, uh, found guilty on things that I never did. Mistaken identity. It happened a lot on the school bus, I think more than anything. And that's tough because the school bus driver, look. You're driving so that you don't kill everyone in the bus, but you're also looking in the mirror to make sure like everybody's like doing okay. And if you don't, if you've never rode the school bus, you don't know, right? But if you rode the school bus, you definitely know. Speaking of Chuck E. Cheese, the pizza is bomb. Though low key, no, the salad bar is bomb. That's what's bomb. <laughs> but yeah, I would, I, 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 I go to Chuck E. Cheese to have some pizza maybe have a salad that's why like any of my friends who like have kids and they're like hey we're having a party we're having a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese I'm like oh yeah dude I'm first on the list make sure I'm there you know yeah mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> look anything bad that I've done in my adult life I have been found guilty only because I deserved it and I did that and I own up to that 
And you might be asking, oh my God, Cans, what the hell have you done? Are you are you a maniac? No, man, I ran a red light. They took a picture of me running a red light. I was on my way to work. I was late. I was fucked up. I'm sorry. I didn't want to be late because I didn't want to be fired. That's the only thing I've ever done bad in my life. Okay? I ran a red light and got caught. Mercy's very upset about that too. I was running late to Radio Shack. My boss was like, oh, dude. I was like, I need to have this job. I'm like 19 years old, dude. I'm trying to like pay for Danielle to go to cosmetology school. I need this job, sir. Shit. <laughs> it was a bunch of BS because I had to make a bank run to him. And that's one of the reasons why I was almost late too. I wasn't paid enough to run a bank run. That's managerial stuff. I was a sales associate, man. I don't get paid enough to run to the bank for you also. A little bit of back backstory there. <laughs> hello, Anthony. Uh, hello, this game that you are playing, is it controller? I, uh, no, well, I'm not playing with the controller, but I think you can play with the controller. It makes me laugh to hear Can swear because he doesn't do it that often. <laughs> sometimes when I get passionate, sometimes when I get scared, I say stuff. You know, that's just me letting out. But yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Go? Thank you. I can't imagine somebody's at my front door again. There needs to be a day where like nobody comes. And I think I need to like maybe have a conversation with Danielle and be like, look, Amazon is a tool, not a weapon. <laughs> Can I at least use my blinker? Listen, I have photo evidence and video evidence of me breaking the law because that's how good they are at doing their job. And I did use my blinker. The problem is, is that it was a yellow and it was a turn right on red. Okay, so this was the story. It was a turn right on red and it was a camera light. And I was coming up to the limit line and it was yellow, 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 yellow. And what happened was loud what happened was i was coming up at like some decent speed yellow 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 and i had two choices either slam on the brakes get hit from behind or just coast right on through and guess what i did i coasted right on through on right on red and i know some of you in another country are like oh my god what the hell is right on red look over here right on red is uh is you know it, it, that's good. That, that's good. It, it's good news over here. Right on red is fine. <laughs> but, you know, stuff like that. And I went to court. I went to the judge. I explained. I pleaded no contest. I guess I didn't. I pleaded no contest. They took my ass to driving school. I paid. How much did I pay? I paid $650 for the ticket. I paid $300 for driving school. I did my dues. I did my time. <laughs> I never made that mistake again. Every yellow I see going here on out, I always stop for. <laughs> and people are pissed about that. You stop on a yellow? Uh, yeah. Why? Long story. Freedom of speech to have a constitutional right speak with what you need to speak. Well, I, I mean that works in a, in the United States Yeah But the internet isn't like the United States <laughs> I'll be honest with you <laughs> That's not how that works though. Yeah, $600 for a speeding ticket back in 2014 Apparently the tire 2014 2015 I can't remember it might have been 2015 
Green means go, yellow means go faster. I choose not to drive because I talk back to cops. So if I dressed up as a cop for Halloween, are you going to talk back to me? You have a few places in Australia where you can turn right on red if safe to do so. Okay. At least Australia has some of that, right? But the UK has... They don't tolerate that, right? I don't think the UK tolerates that. I think I just messed up. Damn it. Skip you. I have to skip you. You leave your trash here. I couldn't get the clock out. Recyclable. I just heard the door. Somebody at the door. Okay, I'm like... There's so much going on right now. There's like cars coming in. There's someone touching my door. I need to figure this out. Hang on a sec. Once I get this all taken care of, I'll take care of what's going on out there. Give me a moment. You would, unfortunately. Damn it, you talk back to me, even though I'm wearing a freaking combat outfit. My lord. There ain't nobody at my door. Ain't nobody there. There's nobody there at my door. Instead, there's a lady outside talking. She probably hears me talking, which is making her talk and question what the hell she's hearing right now. Anyways, uh, wood box. Hello, Eric. How are you? There ain't nobody there. Can I ask you another question? Do you know what the next update is coming out for Supermarket Simulator? I do not know any of that. I don't know. I wish I did, but I don't. We've actually learned, or not learned, we've earned a lot of money from this commercial waste thing. A lot, a lot of money. We're gonna have like tons of money. It sounded like someone like put a box on the door, but yeah, I deserve that. But I guess they didn't. It sounded like something moved. There we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Amber lights here means you must stop unless it's not safe to do so. Is that what yellow light is? Is that an amber light? The only amber I know is amber alert. Green means go. Yellow means hurry, hurry, hurry. Red means look both ways before proceeding. <laughs> oh man uh oh files this is a fee by the way 100 percent a fee mm -mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> maybe you got a delivery and the porch pirate already scooped it up i'd be very impressed One, I have cameras. Two, the hell are they gonna take a, a friggin' a water bottle? I have like water delivered to my house quite often. That's actually where these come from. <laughs> I hope you are thirsty out there. There, they deserve that. You know what, maybe I did someone a favor. Maybe they were really thirsty. I will be honest with you. I've never been a victim of the pirate porching ever. And I know that might sound like a euphemism, but it's not. But I've never been a victim of porching pirate, pirate porches, if that makes sense. It's very hard to clean when you're like right up in the business, aren't you? Like right up in there. If Kansas is driving in the game, every light is green. Everyone is driving is walking or driving or walking too slow. It's true. If that's right, if we're in a game driving, everybody needs like to get out of my way. Porch pirate is an epidemic. 
epidemic? They left some money for the water. Uh, oh man. There you go. For that. Leave a tip, why don't you? Peace. Enjoy. Goodbye. What about trafficking? What about crossing traffic for you guys? Well, it was illegal, but now it's not. If that's what you're talking about. It used to be illegal to jaywalk. Now it's not illegal to jaywalk. They changed that law recently. They also changed another law on on uh april 1st minimum wage is 20 dollars officially if you work in the fast food industry if you work in the fast food industry minimum wage is 20 dollars that went into law about 10 days ago but we've known about that law change for about a year now which is you know it is what it is it kind of sucks though because people are i mean look you get paid more, but what happens is these companies they then uh, switch to all self-driven kind of thing, like self uh, self checkout, self things like that, right? Self kiosk, self serve, everything just turns into that, so that they save money uh, more than more or less, right? So yeah, the minimum wage goes up, but it, I don't know if it really actually helps anybody. It doesn't really combat anything. Um, you lose your hours, and they get self checkout kiosks, so. You know? There it is. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a tit for tat thing. It's it's gonna constantly be back and forth, back and forth, right? Uh, what they need to do is they need to take control of the housing housing here. They need to take control of the uh of the of the rent uh increases. Because rent increase happens so often every year. Sometimes two times a year. Rent control. They need to get that shit dealt with. <laughs> like, if you go to, like... So, they've built a new McDonald's where I live, right? We have, like, 20 McDonald's. But they built another one. And I think that might be... Yeah. Uh, they built a new McDonald's. And inside the McDonald's, it's all self... Um, it's all self kiosk now, right? In the new McDonald's. And I think they're doing that with all the other uh, McDonald's too. And in case people don't have that or don't know what that is, basically you just walk up to the thing and you put in your order and it's like no human contact. You don't have to like deal with talking to anybody. Damn it. Perfect. Oh. Uh, he was making twenty dollars an hour before twenty dollar hour was twenty. <laughs> hey, that's minimum. You gotta find a company that will pay above minimum, right? That's it, right there. Find a company that will pay above minimum. If they want to keep their employees, then you know they probably will find so someone that will. Uh, you know, I mean when you're young and dumb, right? You don't know your self-worth until you actually like start like working for a while And then you really kind of figure out your self-worth and then you really like if you're honest with yourself And you're honest about like your work you do, right? It should be no problem To like know your self-worth, right? Um, there we go uh, It becomes a problem when people start taking advantage of you uh, then that's when you really start to determine like, okay, you know what? This is what I'm really worth. This is worth hey, my time subscriber. Once you can figure out how much value how valuable your time is. I think that's what changes everything about you, right? Hello, it's me. How are you? Hello, Rixie. You're so addicted to this game. I hope they keep expanding and adding more. I know, right? Me too. Me too You prefer self-serve we also understand its wider impacts on the world. Yeah. I I mean, I prefer it too, but I do see how it also, like, it... I mean, more people then lose jobs, you know? Yeah. Mm. 
Hands, does YouTube pay me twenty dollars an hour? <laughs> no. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Hello, Curtis. How's it going? What's going on? <laughs> I love when you buy one item and they still check you out at the self checkout. Hey, you know, there might be motivations to that. Maybe they don't want to like deal with people. <laughs> it was even like a uh, self pickup, right? Um, like w uh, we do it a lot too. Like, uh, like target. Some of you probably don't have target, but maybe some other places do it, but like self like pickup. Uh, uh, curbside pickup, right? Probably a lot of people do curbside pickup, right? That kind of thing. <laughs> Hello, Ayla. How are you, Ayla? Good to see you. Good to see you, Ayla. There we are. Who doesn't have Target? Let me guess. The UK? I don't know how I survive without one. Exactly. UK doesn't have Target. I don't know if Canada Canada does. Does Canada... Anybody from Canada... Do you guys have Target? But yeah, they don't have Target, man. There we go. English isn't that good because you're from Brazil. Hey, that doesn't mean anything. I understand everything you just said to me right there. Oh. We just have other stores like it too. No, you can't say I have other stores like it too. That doesn't count. You can't be like, yeah, we don't have Target, but we have other stores like it. No, 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 no. There's a certain magic. Is a certain magic you can't you can't compare no 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 don't try to take what we have we have very little over here with a country that's been around for maybe 300 years we're very very young and dumb over here but don't take target from us how dare you <laughs> <laughs> Don't take target from us. <laughs> let's hear them out loud. Wait, let's hear what out loud? Let's hear them out loud. What they got that's like target? That's true, yeah. Like what's what's comparable to target? Something you will say that I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. The fact that you know, like if you say I have something that's that's compared to target. And you tell me what your comparison of target is and you don't know or i don't know what the hell your comparison is of, to, of target like if you say some store that's like oh yeah it's like target and then i don't know what you're talking about but you live in another country on another freaking time zone in another freaking area of the part of the world on the other side of the world and you know what exactly i'm talking about when i say target that's when you know how much of an impact target has on your way Walmart is a similar store with Target. Exactly, it's very similar. I would agree. Uh, get rid of you, because apparently you had a sweater. Chilling out. There you are. They tried to expand in Canada, opened 20 stores, and then 10 years later, they closed them all. Well, that's very rude. Can you repeat that for me? I, I, I okay, I spoke too, too fast. What I'm saying is, if you say, I... We don't have Target, but we have something compared. We have something that's like Target. And you compare Target with whatever you're comparing that's like Target. And I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. 
when you say this is the place that's like target and then you know what i'm talking about when i say target i look it doesn't matter <laughs> and the grand scheme of things it doesn't matter i'm talking my head off i think at this point but i am curious what is your comparison to target please Tell me the store that is compared to Target. I, I want to know the name of the store. I want to know if I've actually heard of this department store. Have you got Costco in America? I think that's where Costco originated from was America. And please correct me if I'm wrong on that. Because I actually don't know. <laughs> I don't know that. You're banned from Costco? You have Costco. See, and I applaud you for that. Costco is a wonderful place. Costco is wonderful. You say you have Asda? I don't know what the hell Asda is. It makes me look like you accidentally say we have WASD. And when you say WASD, I'm thinking W-A-S-D. I'm sorry, did you hit the keyboard wrong? What the hell is Asda? Is that something you put on like a, like a, like a quesadilla, a quesadilla or something? Sounds like a sauce. Okay, so you gotta take your gas cylinder back. Can't take that. There we go. I think you're charged. Yeah. Take care. Put some signs up. Costco is your jam. I'm buying that. We have a lot of money to burn. Might as well, right? I managed that. How do you actually change the color of those? Can you change the color of that? Is it controller friendly? Let me check. I'll check. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes, you can use a Xbox controller and a PlayStation controller. What the hell is going on here? I'm playing a video. There we go. No. Don't even at me on the Sam's Club. I would like to do a pure black wall. I would like to also buy signs. Metal sign preferably, please. That's not Black Walls Stream. That's the name of the save file. <laughs> stream. <laughs> I don't think that's Black Walls, man. That's nothing black on that. All right. Okay. Very well. Okay. <laughs> on we go. Now I want a quesadilla. Look, I'm just saying, Asda sounds like some sort of sauce for quesadillas. Do you guys sell a lot of quesadillas over there? Look, Kmart, Sears, and Radio Shack, they all went through the same supplier. And they all went under. Because they had crappy products, man. The 2000, early 2000s, just garbage. Garbage products. I worked for Radio Shack, obviously. And their products were mingled in with Kmart's products and their products were mingled in with Sears and all of them went out of business at the same time Because they have just terrible terrible products now look a hundred year company as in Radio Shack They never used to be like that. They never used to be trust me I know the history of Radio Shack. I know how much of an impact it had especially in the 80s and things like that but something took a turn and they decided to worry about um I'm sorry, was there cardboard boxes in there? Oh, shoot. Um, they decided to worry about uh, the profits more than anything else. And it, bite them, it bit them right in the rear end is what happened. You still have a Radio Shack near me? See, I have a Radio Shack probably three hours from me, from me but that's all franchise owned. All the franchises, I don't know how they're still in business, but they're still in business. There's still some franchises like out there doing their thing, but corporate is gone. Corporate is donezo. 
they got wrecked man we got wrecked we got absolutely wrecked they made decisions that made no sense back then but who was i gonna question i had nobody to question nobody wanted to listen no one wanted to listen no nice Imagine if Blockbuster became what Netflix is now before it got pushed to the wayside. Yeah, that, I think I think honestly, Blockbuster missed an opportunity. And I think that was done by their leaders, ultimately, because I think at one point they're like, oh yeah, this will never take off. Netflix, movies in the mail, streaming, well, mostly movies in the mail. And then Netflix was like, oh hey, we're going to do streaming, right? They're like, oh, that will never take off. It took off, all right. It took way off. Get in there. I think I need to empty that out. Yeah, I need to empty that out. <laughs> Give me a sec. Recyclables. Empty. Thank you. Get in there, Lewis. Come on now. Perfect. I know we also have pound stretcher. What the frick? You have pound stretcher? What is that? That sounds like a device. Pound stretcher? That's how much it distracted me. I put that thing in the wrong thing. Pound stretcher? What in the world? What is a pound stretcher? I'm sorry, is this a location? Don't you ever kind of like think and wish Maybe for my Older audience <clears throat> Don't you kind of wish and think like Oh man, I wish I could go back in time and like put stocks into Apple <laughs> Or oh man, I wish I could go back in time and put stocks into Netflix You know what I mean? Like Just things like that You're Like oh man, could you imagine where I would be now? I guess my generation would be like, oh yeah, I wish I could go back and put stocks into Bitcoin. Look, that was never a good idea in the first place. They got lucky is what happened. They got really lucky. At least Apple and Netflix have plans. You know? Had plans, have plans. If you just had $10 of a Bitcoin back in those days, back in like what, 2011, maybe is when it was 2010, 2011. I can't remember $10. Oh, baby. Right. Which I think the 99 cent store is actually going out of business now. I think I saw in the news the other day. Yeah. Pound stretcher sounds so wrong. That's what I'm saying. Pound stretcher does sound like a torture device. I used to work there. Wait, that's a that's a place. <laughs> that's a place you work at. Do they like make like cool jokes there? If I worked at a place called Pound Stretcher, I'd be like expecting to walk into work and be like, pound it, or be like, hey, this weekend I'm getting pounded. You know what I mean? There better be some humor with that. I'd be very upset. I haven't really gotten anything to like resell nothing like too fancy dancy i've been like looking for a jukebox man what about this no oh no all right what the hell would this be a bulk item electronics that's what it is the it's a shop where everything costs a pound. That's what pound stretcher is. That's your Dollar Tree. That's your 99 cent store. That's your get pounded. Oh my lord. Yeah, mom. I'll be right back. I gotta go get pounded real quick. I, I, I gotta go to pounded. I gotta go to pound town.
Oh, sorry. I had to say it in like a different accent. Um, Mum, I need to go to Pound Town. You know what always actually amazes me? I, look, I started watching the Fallout series last night. No spoilers, please and thank you. Also, um, it has always amazed me uh, in like acting, movies, TV shows, that it's always it always seems easy for like the British actors to have an American accent. But like if American did a British accent, it would be like terrible. First example, Tom Holland. The guy from Sons of Anarchy, Jax. I don't know his name. Like the girl that's in Fallout. Like these are British people that have American that have like put on these American accents that you don't even notice. Like, oh, I didn't know you were British. I never understood that. It's a residential. Nice. It was like easier for them to speak the way we spoke, but then it's hard for us to speak the way they speak. That's kind of, that's kind of, that's why I feel like you're you kind of faking it. You know what I mean? You're faking it. You're faking it with this British accent. Y'all are, y'all are trying to like, y'all are faking it, aren't you? Y'all are playing us. It's like a long, lifelong, century long. It's a, it's a way to keep yourself separated from us, huh? I, 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 I get it. I understand. I understand. I get it. You don't want to be like the rest of us. All right. All right. I got to like interrogate Susie one of these days during a live stream. And I'm going to ask her specifically to do an American accent. And I'm going to see if she can kill it. Because I, be I bet you she can kill it. You know? I bet you she can kill it. I just feel like they do so well. And I myself don't have like the generic American accent. I don't even know what the hell I have. By the way, Travis. Hello, Travis. Thank you for the 18 months of support. How are you, Travis? Thank you, Travis. Big ups to you. Good to see you. Good to see you indeed. 18 months. Almost two whole years for support. Appreciate that. Chris Hemsworth is Aust is he is he Aussie? Is he an Australian? You know? Rainla, thank you for subscribing on Twitch using your Prime. Thank you for using your Prime on Twitch. I appreciate you. Hello. I don't know where anybody is at right now. Don't British people speak a different English than our American English as well? I mean, they, they speak proper English is what you would call it. <laughs> like, you would never, ever guess. Like, if you watch these people, you would never guess. Oh, damn, you know. They're from a different country. They... They play an American accent so well, but like if you have an American go and play an, uh, uh, an English accent or have a British accent, right? You'd be like, oh, dude, this guy is trying too hard, right? It just always, it always made me feel, and I know it's very ignorant for me to say, but it always made me feel like you could just like on a, on a dime switch and be like, oh yeah, I can talk like you. No problem. I choose not to though. <laughs> I know that's very dumb of me to say, but I just feel like that's what it's like i feel like we're being we're being like trolled like a, like a century a multiple century long troll that we're that we're on about here and we haven't figured it out yet <laughs> i think this will be something uh 40 dollars is not that good I can't do any kind of accent. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. I can't do anything. I can barely speak English. That's the only language I know. There we go. Stretch and pound your paycheck. 
Take me to Poundland. That's what I want to do. I want to go. To, what was it? Pound? What was it? Pound Stretcher? Is that the name of the place? Take me to Pound Stretcher. I want to see what that's all about. Now I'm interested in Pound Stretcher. We'll get to that in a sec. I want to go to Pound Stretcher, man. Take me to Pound Town. That's right. I'd rather stretch my check if someone was asking. I'd rather stretch my check if someone was asking. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm here to stretch my. Uh... Never mind. Never mind. I could I could make multiple comments and I will not make multiple comments. I don't think it's appropriate. I don't think it's appropriate at all. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is, right? It's different dialects. That's also one thing, right? And even if like, and I know it's. Oh damn it! That's good though. I know like even like in the UK, right? If you live in a different region, there's like different dialects, right? I'll be honest with you. I don't think I could even, I don't think I could even like, I don't think I could differ someone. I know some of you, like you talk amongst each other before and like, oh, you're from the North, right? You're from the South, right? Like the North and South of like the UK, not hey, like American subscribe. North and South. Like I can definitely tell where someone's from in the US, but I don't think I could ever do that with like the UK or something. But I feel like I do feel like a lot of people from the UK can be like, oh yeah, I know this person has this kind of accent. They must be from New York. You know, they must be from the East Coast. They must be from the South, right? Stuff like that. More recognizable, I guess, by the way. Nikki. Thank you for subscribing. Hello. Welcome in. There we go. He was waiting for me to press that button. Oh, yeah. Residential. Missed out on the fees. Damn it. You have a pound stretcher and a pound land in your town. You sound like you have a wonderful Sunday. Every Sunday is what that sounds like. It reminds me of the time Cans played the game with the picture and you had to guess where it was taken. Oh, like the kind of like the geo guesser picture game kind of thing. That thing. Yeah. A Bostonian accent. To Boston, from Boston. You know, you have a Boston accent. You, US TV is much more common in other countries than their TV is here. Well, that's true, huh? We, we produce probably more, more media, more entertainment uh, on all levels. You know, there's more actors in the u.s and the than anywhere else in the world there's more movies and television that's created here than anywhere else in the world there's more youtubers uh in the u.s than there is in any part of the world so it's probably a very very like heavy influence right and so like you then become accustomed to and know more and learn more as you go right there we are I know Kansas has a U UK accent according to previous chat. Okay, listen. There has been there yes, through my streaming time, through my time here on YouTube, I I have had some live stream encounters where people asked if I was from the UK and then I look at them and I'm like, "What?" You know? And then I ask a serious question and I'm like, "Hey, where do you like I'll, you know, I'll tease chat and I'll be like, "Hey, where do you think I'm from?" And then someone says, "I think you're from the UK." And I'm like, 
Really? <laughs> what gave it away? <laughs> what gave it away? Let me ask you that. Let me ask you what gave it away. Okay. What gave it away? Perfect. What in the world gave it away to make you believe that I live in the UK? Because I am seriously interested. I want to have whatever he's having. He can't do anything there. There we are. We're going to have a bunch of signs now, aren't we? There we go. We've, we've recently implemented new recycling laws. I now have four trash cans with a total of seven sorting options. Oh my Lord. That sounds like you need a job just to do your trash. It's like a second job. <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy crap. Hello, you're off. How are you? Welcome in. Good to see you. <laughs> like a second job just to take out the trash, man. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Look at everything has signs now. Everything's like labeled correctly. It looks fantastic. Bulk trash. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I could replace those two things. Well. You finally watched the stream with you were playing with cans, the Frontier Light one. You two played awesomely together. Oh, that was very kind of you, Heather. Yeah, the co-op stream Susie and I did a couple weeks ago for Lightyear Frontier, right? That was good fun. That was good fun indeed. Yeah, I think I'm going to replace those two next. Once I get enough money for it. Hello, Shanny. How are you, Shanny? I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I hope you two do will do more. I hope so, too. I hope so, too. And we probably will. We most likely will. We definitely will. So, definitely will be doing that. We just have to uh, link up, find the right game, find the right time. I've almost wanted to do my supermarket with her, with Susie. I did want to do that. My supermarket one? I was thinking about doing that. But then I was afraid because then like, no, I'm not afraid of Susie. What am I talking about? Am I afraid of Susie? I'm not afraid of Susie. I am afraid of Susie. Am I afraid of Susie? Oh, possibly. might be afraid. Am I afraid? Maybe. I don't know. I have to still have that discussion with myself still. I'll, I'll get back to you in a couple years on that. Holy crap. It's going to be like a couple years, uh, uh, you know, self-conversation I'll have. Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> <laughs> there we go hey Jalen how are you Jalen good to see you Kansas is afraid of me Kansas is afraid of the power you have she's very powerful she's sneaky powerful <laughs> Until you wake up one day and you're like, whoa, you don't know. Someone's very powerful. She's very powerful. She's a powerful lady. Um, more. A couple years when they finally update their unplayable game. I'm sorry, which game? Did I miss out on something there? Also, thank you, Gamer Nathan, for following on Twitch. Hello. I'm sorry. That was cardboard, was it not? Oh, that was cardboard box. Not not this wooden box. Oh, damn it. I screwed the pooch on that one, though, didn't I? Hug your earlobe if you need help. What do they do in baseball? Do a little bit of sign language.
All right, let's go hit. <laughs> I think I pulled my back out doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man in every home we now have dangerous material fabric everyday garbage food paper carton paper carton goes into separate cans glass metal food and drink cartons and plastic where do you live my goodness gracious that is a lot that sounds like you have to take an SAT just to take out the trash my goodness it's insane. You live in Denmark. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> Shout out to Denmark. <laughs> well, you guys are way ahead of the times, though. So be proud on that. How on earth do you manage that? I know, right? How can you? That would be exhausting, I feel like, having to manage that. Now, I know a lot of our containers are dirty here, but I kind of want to keep them dirty. Dirty little containers. I do want to add colors to these two. I was thinking about doing like a rainbow color. Let's do maybe green, red, yellow. This will be yellow. Scrap metal will be yellow. I don't know what to make this one. Yellow, red? Yellow and red? Oh, wait. We already have red. Yellow and... Um, Yellow and, uh, hmm. I don't know. Yellow in something? Yellow and, yellow and pink? Yellow and something? Um, this one. Custom color. Thank you very much. Let's make a yellow somehow. Denmark, Denmark is on another planet. <laughs> yellow. How do we do yellow? Yellow. There we go. Yellow. Very close to orange. I guess I could do orange. Or keep it orange. Pink as well. There we go. Yellow. Yeah, yellow. I like it. Cool. I like it. The hell? Did, what? I'll be honest with you, I don't remember you even being here. Yellow. Yellow, pink. Let's do pink, yeah? Yellow and pink. Yellow and pink. Pink? I like purple. It's like a pink. Let's do that. Oh, look at that thing. That thing's... Hey, don't honk at me. That thing stands out. Holy crap. Hello. Wood. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Sir, I can't throw away your car. There's no way I can possibly throw away your car. I don't have the capacity. Where did that come from? What is happening? Sorry, I can't recycle a car. Scrap metal. <laughs> Just give me a sec, sir. I don't know where all this uh, organic stuff came from. I should have put him in the scrap metal bin, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh, man.
I can delete them from existence. Goodbye. <laughs> that was very strange. I don't know where all this stuff came from, though. <sighs> that was pretty good. You don't get a lot of those bugs. I think there had to, uh, something that had to do with those dress pants. Those dress pants were like incredible. Unless there's some bug with like that car and uh, possible clothes. I don't know. That was very strange though. I approve though. I do approve. He's in a Prius. Of course he doesn't have to. Of course he doesn't know how to reverse. You got something about you guys something against uh, a Prius, huh? This one's like fighting words against a Prius. I'm looking at you. Organic. All right. You do have something against Priuses. What do they do? What was those cars that they drove in Cat in a Hat? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? The cat, Mike Myers, Cat in a Hat. Everybody drove the same car. What car was that? That should be like a trivia question. That should be a movie trivia question. I don't even know what car that was. But they didn't last that long. They did not catch on. There you go. You have issues with Priuses and cops. <laughs> Where do you draw the line, young lady? <laughs> you have an issue with a Prius and you talk back to police officers. <laughs> You're like the chick that I would be like associated with, but then like when shit went down, I'd be like, running away from you <laughs> I'd be like okay I don't know her <laughs> sorry I don't know who this lady is she has some sort of personal vendetta against Priuses and uh, you wear a badge therefore she will talk back to you I'm not associated with this woman It was a Ford Focus in Cat in the Hat? There's no way that was a Ford Focus. That was a Ford Focus? Those did not look like a Ford Focus. Was that a Ford Focus? Maybe they were Ford Focuses. No way. Oh no, oh no, oh no. But you'd help me in a fight? So you're like a... You're like a... You're like a, you're, you're like a ride or die chick, aren't you? That's who you are. You're ride or die. I respect that. <sighs> I missed that. I totally missed that. Damn it. Best scene in horrible bosses is when Jason Bateman said he was street racing in his Prius. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in a hot minute. Uh, Jennifer Aniston in that movie though. That's that's good. That's good. 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 Wa good watch. Good watch. It's a good watch. Very good watch. She does like multiple of those like kind of like uh, what would you call them? Kind of lewd, uh, very over sexualized roles. I mean, she does it in like she does it in uh, in horrible bosses, but she also does it in like We're the Millers. Is that if anybody's ever seen like We're the Millers? That's a funny movie, too. She never did that early on in her career, but the older she got, she's like, yeah, I'm going to do that. Good for you, girl. Keep going. That's all I got to say. Keep going. But I don't think Jennifer Aniston, she doesn't have any children. She, she is not a mother, I do not think. There we go. The MK1 Ford Focus. No wonder it didn't catch on with a name like that. What a terrible, terrible car. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
one thing at a time oh office space i forgot jennifer anderson's in office space too totally forgot about that totally forgot she's the waitress and along came look office space is a pretty good movie yeah i like that movie There we go. I mean, that's not working, is it? That's not working at all. <clears throat> I know this guy is a heavy drinker, is he? He's all over the place. No regrets. Did you know New York spends $20 billion on subway per year? Um, are you talking about the restaurant or are you talking about the actual public transportation service? <laughs> There's two different subways I know of. Talking about public transportation or are you talking about a restaurant? Because if it's public transportation, I believe it. If it's a restaurant, I don't believe it. There we go. I mean, Bruce Almighty, she was, she was very mild. She wasn't like in that movie quite a bit. Uh, along came Polly. She was like part of the movie, but she was like, she was, she was funny in that movie too. But I guess there's a lot of Je Jennifer Aniston movies out there, aren't there? Aren't they? Aren't there? Yeah. Send it. Mm -mm -mm. Office space reminds me of when I worked at the Lucent Technologies. Office space just seems like and feels like the ultimate metaphor for like the early 2000s into the late 1990s. Like just work life, you know, like. I don't know, like. I feel like there is that some sort of like situational work. Like cubicle work i guess you could say office work like that but i don't think it's as common as it was like it was back in the day but I, I could be wrong about that it might be very common still but i feel like it's not like i feel like it was portrayed or maybe it was so common back in those days that it seemed like everybody had an office desk job or an office cubic uh, cubicle job i don't think i've ever like i i think i've maybe a handful of times met anybody in my life I say, oh, what do you do for a living? And they say, oh, I work in an office cubicle. I don't think I've ever had that conversation. And I think I would remember that because then I would not know how to reply to that. I'd be like, oh. What do you do? <laughs> and I think that's the whole thing of like the office as well. Like the point of it, like the office series, you know. I don't think there was anything I needed to get from you. I think you were okay. Did I miss something? A shoe not sorted um did i not hit the hatch no i did hit the hatch was there a shoe in the back trunk maybe maybe there was a shoe in the back trunk potentially oh there's a shoe right there ay 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 yeah very well on you go yeah hello papa verby how are you welcome in welcome in welcome in but that is two hours. I just realized I've been talking everyone's ear off for two hours. Um, I was only going to do a couple of hours today just so I could kind of cover this update and talk about nonsense. Uh, so thank you for chilling with me and hanging out with me. I'm going to take an hour break and then we're going to play some more center station uh, simulator. I do, uh, do want to make mention uh, real quick that uh, with this update, it does seem like it's a nice update. It's it's. It's a nice update. I like it. I think the state, uh, what was it? The uh, commercial truck waste can make you a lot, a lot of money. The only thing I, only thing I wish is that um, it wasn't so copy. I, I wish there was more variety 
in the trucks because it seemed like the couple of trucks that we got today it was like three or four items and then it was just like duplicated to masses right maybe if there was like more variety i would like to see potentially but um overall if you get that license you get the 200 uh satisfaction points you get that truck that's a lot of money you're gonna get you're gonna get a lot of money for sure anyways i'm gonna go have myself a snack uh a lunch and then i'm going to reflect on everything that i've shared with you today in my life and uh, possibly question what i'm doing here on youtube and then we'll be back in less than an hour to play some more center station simulator so hope to see you then all right thank you all and uh take care yeah oh yeah pounder pound stretcher that's right i learned something new today getting pounded on the weekends is something that happens quite often in the uk yeah she said we better of his best friend